Hey there everybody and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today I want to talk about an add-on that I found on the Blender market called Simple Bend. That is so like stupidly a feature that should be part of Blender, like it, it's so useful, uh, that I thought I would talk about it. So Simple Bend is just a modeling add-on that lets you bend things. As you can see, you can do it on multiple axes and it's almost like this dynamic looking thing. Um, and let, let me just give you a bit of a tutorial about how to use it. I mean, it's like the easiest thing in the world. I just thought it would be useful and I'll show you some use cases. So first of all, you wanna make sure this thing is installed. So you go to edit, preferences, add-ons. Um, I already clicked install, but you go to install and you go to the directory where you have simple bend and then make sure that it is spelled correctly and enabled. Uh, the way it works is you go into edit mode. I'm gonna add some loop cuts. And then in edit mode, you can just uh, select your geometry, whatever it is you want to bend, right click, simple bend, and you can see uh, we're getting bend benditure, if you will. You can do this on either axis or on either, either direction. Uh, you can pick the axis that you want it to bend on. So it's almost like a bend modifier in edit mode, uh, but it goes, the cat's going crazy. Uh, but it gets crazier than that because you can select certain uh, selections, like let's say we want this. Now we use a simple bend and it will use this as kind of like a pivot um, or something like that. Now you might be wondering why is something like this useful? Um, it'd be useful uh, for something like uh, making pipes. So let's say we take a cylinder, give it a bit more height, give it more uh, geometry, um, and we want to make some bending pipes. So. I'm just going to click our uh, pivot point, right click, simple bend, uh, make sure that it's on the right axis. So we're going to click W to swap axis. And by the way, uh, so this is already a thing, uh, but by the way, just so you know, if you hit C, I mean, it's all written here, uh, but if you hit C, you can have it just be one axis, like everything on the bottom or one selection, everything on the bottom, everything on the top or both. But you could see how something like this is useful. So I'm going to do it by, can I type it in? I'm gonna do it by hold shift key for five degree increments. Increments. So I'm gonna do 90 degrees here, and then I'm going to do more of a selection here. Simple bend, I wanna make sure it's on the right axis. So something like this by 90 degrees. Something like this would be very hard to model <laughs> normally. Um, so there's the use case basically. There, there isn't much more to say about it because uh, it, it is a simple kind of modeling tool. Uh, but I thought that it was neat. Um, w. And look at that. You can actually bend everything as like a single unit, all your progress before. So if this seems interesting to you, I mean, I know not much of a tutorial, but if it seems interesting to you, there's an affiliate link in the description. I just thought that I would get in contact with the guy and be like, listen, I want to make an affiliate tutorial for this. I think it's a cool product that people would want. And uh, that's the essence of it. So simple bend. There you go.